Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the CTM map called The Nightmare Journey. And I believe this is kind of where we left off the last time. I'm running around lighting up uh, the area just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And I do believe I saw a chest up here in the last episode. I'm going to climb up here and see what kind of goodies may be in it have to collect all the goodies and watching out for those holes where those sea lanterns are. Nice coal. So I got plenty of torches now. Uh, definitely ran out the last time, but they never have enough torches, that's for sure. So appreciated with the coal and got a little bit of more food, which is good. Got some pork chops that time, which is better a better food source than what I've got currently. So, lighten up. We know we got a spot there, but I'm trying to light up everything on the outside of this area just so we don't have any natural mobs spawning. And I notice there's another chest over here. So, I'm going to just kind of go around, light up, deal with these zombies and all this slimy dudes that keep spawning and we keep running into every place. So I'm going to take out the zombie spawner and we're going to creep along here just to see what we've got. Looks like spiders. Not sure if those are cave. They probably are. Yep, I got poisoned by one. Lovely. So at least that's not creepers this time. So we should be able to get over here to this chest fairly easy. We've got another spawner, which are zombies, which is still good. Again, not creepers. So I take out the spawner. And then I decide to go around the outside just to make sure there's nothing else lurking around here that could sneak up on us. And hello, zombie. Like I said, make sure there's nothing lurking. Okay, yep. Go. We got a couple of redstone torches, so I don't know if there was a trap under that, but I definitely wasn't going to find out. So we'll get some more carrots, a couple potions. So grab the chest so we know that we got that. Looks like we got another sword there, which is good because I think... Um, the sword we have is, is, it's a good sword, but, you know, it's always good to have more swords, especially when you're dealing with all these mobs. So I'm going to creep around here and see what else we got down here. Of course, you know, more cave spiders. I hate cave spiders. Trying to deal with this guy here so I can take out the spawner without getting attacked from behind. I'm going to go around this edge here, trying to look to make sure we... Get all the spawners. Whoops, wrong block. Actually, I was trying to place a torch in a block. Peering over the edge here. Like I said, just make sure everything is lit up fairly well. I'm trying to make sure there's no other hidden spawners anywhere that we can't see in all this dark blackness. Creeper, I saw him out of the corner of my eye. Not sure where he came from, though. Yep, unfortunately, didn't get Tim to keep from blowing up, but it's all right. We didn't sustain too much damage there. I'm going to kind of fill this in a little bit, get rid of some of these blocks in my inventory. Okay, going around here. That's kind of an interesting structure there. I'm not sure what it is. There's just all kinds of interesting looking things around here. Uh, another spawner, and I see another spawner over here that I need to get to to light up. I think this one might be a spider one again. So, nope, that was the cre a creeper, which is good. It didn't spawn then. And that might have been the spider one, I'm not sure. Because I kind of lose track of, of the directions we've been in because this section is so open outside of that one area. Like I said, more creepers. But this world, it's hard to know kind of what direction to go in and certainly don't want to miss anything. And of course, the creeper that blew up didn't take out the spawner with it. You know, it would have been nice if you kind of took out the spawner with you. Filling in holes again. Okay, spawner taken care of. Like, uh, I wasn't expecting to come around the corner and see those creepers. So we're backing off here. Backing off. Uh, make sure I'm only having to deal with one mob at a time. Back off and I'm going to try to shoot these guys because it's easier to deal with them just by shooting them. Okay, I think there was only two. I'm going to get the spawner lit up. 
looking to see if there's anything up top here because like I said we did find the one chest on top of one of these I don't see anything but what I started to say a while ago is about this being such an open area not knowing which direction to go and making sure you don't you, you know you want to make sure you get everything and see everything and you're not missing anything like loot chests and the good stuff so I'm just kind of holding off going inside because I want to make sure I don't miss anything out here and the only way I'm going to know that for sure is to make sure I have everything lit up and at least the creepers now are getting a little bit easier to deal with than like in that first section where they were just constantly blowing me up constantly killing me but I've also gotten a little bit wiser on how to deal with the creepers and the other mobs and that stack of torches is gone of course more witches we'll get some more torches here it looks like i'm about out of torches again it doesn't take much to go through all these uh torches with all the um lighting up in an area that needs to be covered keep getting poisoned by the dead spiders I know this witch is over here I want to try to take her out quickly before she poisons me I didn't even realize she, she did get me but she missed the first time which was good I kind of got lucky there I don't know how e either she missed me or I just moved at the right time and she missed stupid spiders again get rid of this guy and I see a spawner down there I light up this corner over here too while I'm at it get the spawner finally and it got off of dark and I can't really tell what's over there I've got an open spot but there is a path over so I'm gonna guess there's probably something up here another chest or something like I said I keep going around the edges and then I seen another chest up there as well. And of course there's a creeper spawner up there somewhere. And I'm not sure where it's at. So I'm kind of creeping. Oh, we got slimes naturally. Good old slimes. Okay, get this spawner going. lighten up some more going around the edges i want to go up here and get this chest finally let's add another torch i don't touch trust redstone torches because of that one trap that we found so making sure i take them all out and there's pretty decent loot in that chest got some iron and some books i didn't really pay much attention to what was on the books but we'll look at them at some point said i know we still got a chest up here to grab and of course we got skeletons again but luckily I have a shield not sure how well my shield is doing but we do have it I'm gonna try to get rid of these guys and of course I think I'm naturally loading that spawner because I am so close to it <laughs> dang guy from the fell but he's not down far enough to where he can't see me luckily he's he's down in the bottom again I think yeah he went down so I'm gonna try to get rid of them both that one kind of wandered off we need to get up here and get this spawner at least get it lit up so we can deal with the skeletons and then, then we got a zombie zombies aren't too big but I'm just trying to knock him off down there in that little lake area I guess you'd call it and get rid of that guy too there we go take out the spawner we're gonna go like I said go around to make sure there's nothing lurking around behind the area and another torch take it out some more armor and inventory is getting full don't have a lot of room for stuff so I'm kind of trying to pick and choose what I want to keep and what we don't really need and I'm like okay I need some better armor so we're gonna switch out with some of the armor that's in this chest some of them I may already had on me. I'm going to clear another one by getting rid of all the sticks. So we got all that. I go ahead and grab that chest. Now it's like I want this anvil. But I don't. Yeah. I may have had a spot for it. I did. 
I'm looking at the books to see if I wanted to, to put those books on anything and then decided, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. Now I'm trying to figure out where's the best planner tag. I decided to go back and get the chest just so I know I've already cleared that one. Put in a few more torches here, here and there. But I need to figure out where I wanted to go after hitting all that up. But I really need to clean out my inventory as well. So I decided to just go ahead and dump a couple of chests down here and dump everything I collected that we don't really need on us at the moment. So we don't lose any of it and just have what we need. So we've got plenty of tor uh, coal and charcoal. So I'm just going to make up a bunch more torches while I'm standing here because um, I know we're definitely going to need to reorganize the inventory a little bit, get a little... And I go ahead and decide to pick up all that I dumped. I, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I, I hoard everything in Minecraft. It's weird. I decided I'm going to go ahead and, and see what's down here, if anything, in this slimy river, lake kind of area. Um, of course, there was a slime spawner. But I figured best to see, just see if there's anything down here. You know, like I said, I don't want to miss anything or any good loot. Uh, and I know there's a few mobs down here from natural spawns that we're going to take out as we go through here. But like I said, being on this slime, it's kind of a pain in the butt to move on. Um, but it does slow the mobs down. Even the, even the slimes had trouble traversing on their own bits. So it makes it a little bit easier to deal with them. Except for when you get the little ones that like to crowd around you and just keep jumping at you being annoying. And getting in your way when you're trying to do things. So, so far all we've managed to run across down here are slime spawners. But I guess it's good to kind of just clear a whole area to make sure we don't miss things. Like I said, these guys, while annoying, are not, you know, hard to take care of at all. And I keep placing the slimes back because I don't need all these blocks in my inventory. So far, we're not finding any good loot or anything, which is kind of unfortunate because that's... I figured there would be some kind of stuff down here. More slimery, slimer tins. Of course, there's a spawner there where they spawn from and getting jostled around a little bit. But once I get the ones that can hurt me taken care of, I just kind of ignore the little ones and just go on. Got more of the slimes to deal with. Like I said, not finding anything good down here, which is kind of a little disappointing. But at least we're, you know, clearing out the whole area. Hopefully not missing anything. That was a creeper I had taken out, which can't really see. Whoops. Didn't like the witch and the creeper up there. So we're just going to leave them be and go on and go around this other way where we started to go. Taking out the spawner or trying to, but, you know, slime or bouncing me around all over the place again. And I hate, these guys are so typically easy to deal with especially the little ones i hate using my sword on them so i just bash them with whatever's in my hand at the time got one over here to take care of got some zombies over here too not sure where they came from probably natural spawns and it's hard to take out a zombie when you got all these slimes bouncing around in your face and knocking you around everywhere so we're getting close to the end here. There's another creeper. Deal with this guy. At least the end of this section. I keep placing more torches than I need to place. More slime guys. Just go away. Jousting me around pretty good several times throughout here. And I think I knocked out my torch trying to deal with them. Keep knocking out all these blocks. Okay. Getting this area cleared out. Surely we're getting close to the edge. I decided to kind of climb up here a little bit. See if there's anything. Get to light it up. 
Now it looks like we're, we're near the end of this section of, I don't know if you want to call it a river or a creek. And I believe that is a zombie that I'm trying to shoot. Head back down, get some more of these spawners taken care of. Got another zombie. To be honest, I'm surprised I haven't run into more natural spawns since there's no other spawners down here. They have to be natural spawns. And all we've seen are slime spawners. I'll try to finish getting all this lit up. So I think we've got it all covered now. Now the zombie's sneaking up on me. So as we near the end of this section, I'm going to end this video here. And I hopefully we will uh, get to our objective here pretty soon. And in the next episode or two. I'll finish lighting up this area. Anyway, guys, this is probably where I am going to end this episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.